Level 13, Heat of the Desert. This is actually challenging, okay? Um, I remember when I first played this level, I was like, how are you supposed to beat this? And um, yeah, it is, it is quite a challenge. Even with the cheese, it is still um, not super, super, super easy like you would think. Because with the cheese, you can only get one of them, not both of them. Uh, unless there's a different cheese that I don't know of. And um, yeah, but it's, it's doable. It is definitely doable. Even without cheesing, it's doable. But I don't remember how... You have to do it without cheesing, but yeah, let's attempt the cheese and see how, how it goes. So first I need to uh, slow the game speed. I need to build some of the basics. There's also a, an, another um, challenging thing about this is uh, there's not much space. There's a kind of lack of space for, for a lot of things here. And also there's lions, I just realized, yeah. Yes, boss. Recruits needed, sire. Okay. Yes, Recruits boss. Needed, sire. Instructions. We probably should kill those lions while we still can. Yes, boss. Recruits needed, sire. Okay, so we need forty. We got ten, twenty, yes, boss. Thirty. So ten more. We are under attack. Lions are attacking my liege. Kind of feels like we're playing a laggy game. Yes, boss. Recruits needed, sire. Recruits needed. Um, twenty-nine, thirty-five. Okay, we need five more. Yes, boss. Needed, sire. We'll have enough. Oh yeah, well. Okay, his this is where we uh attack. Here we go. No go go down below to take less damage. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go around. Because if you go through the middle, uh, he you're gonna take more damage from uh, both enemies Can't place that there, my lord. Need some muscle. Oh. A message from the caliph. You have not seen that. Okay, now retreat. It kind of looks like you would be okay. It would be enough to um you know, to kill the other guy too, but no, it's not really enough. So you kind of have to back off. What? Okay. Now we need to get some uh, someone in these. I can't get any archers. I mean, crossbowmen, not archers. So I'm gonna have to rely on just archers purely. But this tower here will basically shut shut down his economy. It will take a little bit of time to do it though. But you know we can do it. I just need to get some more economy running because we can't really make too much food in this one. What? You can make another? Okay. Okay, his uh, heavy hitters are coming. Oh yeah, I really need some more money now. Yeah, I hate when they when they can shoot at you like that from cover, and you can't do the, anything to them. 
That's the only thing I hate. And I, I can't even hit him. Okay, let's actually do it like this. Okay, yeah. Now he moves. They move. But the second guy is invisible still. Come on. Man, I hate this. There we go. Anyway. So you kind of need to do a little bit of micromanaging at first. At the beginning. So we just need to keep uh, the pressure on so that he runs out of money and he can't do anything anymore. Once that happens, we're pretty much good to go. Mm, no, I can't put that there. Can't place that there my lord. Okay, we got some, some resources coming in, that's nice. Maybe get a couple of crossbows as well. This policy of no taxes is the least we could expect. Oh man, yeah, the, 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 the space limitation is... Oh, I lost so much. Oh, I lost my food. Oops. Oops. People will start leaving now. I guess I forgot about the food. Well, we have we have a little bit of time, so we should be okay. Okay, his economy is pretty much shut down now. He's not producing anything. Well, aside from some wood, maybe iron as well. Um, but none of the food is produced. He's gonna run out of um, food stock. So yeah, it's basically just um, a waiting game for us to make a little bit more money so we can. Uh, go and you know kill him so we're on a on a good path if there was two of them though alive oof that'd be that'd be kind of challenging that'd be fairly challenging actually um maybe i should produce some some wheat Well, his economy is ruined, and um, if not these fire throwers, they might actually not even reach us. We could maybe kill him with just um, with just rushing him. Yeah, we should actually be able to. So we just need to rush him with enough uh, macemen. How much is enough? I don't know. Um, Forty should do the trick for sure. Thirty, maybe. So let's be safe and um, let's make 40 on top of what we have here, which, you know, like all of this is just almost dead anyways, all this force. So let's make, let's make a few more. We just need uh, to sort our food a little bit since we're not having enough food right now. And these kids keep getting in the way and not letting me, you know, produce anything. Those darn kids! Ready, sir. Whoa, one crossbowman. I remember in the first game, just one crossbowman felt like a huge deal. Being able to build one felt like a huge deal. Okay, we should we should have enough now. Yeah. I can focus on uh Actually, I could even build assassins. Assassins could do the trick too. But macemen, I like macemen because they're faster and when you have fire throwers on the, at the enemy camp, they can be pretty scary. They can actually cause serious damage, especially if your troops get bogged in fighting something or something, you know. 
something. Oh no, I lost my food again. Wait. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. I wonder I have no more units or people coming over. Okay, so we got 20. We still need a lot. There we go. We're having more people coming in now. Hopefully now we can actually uh, not worry about the food. Let's build a couple of these just in case. Yeah, so we basically suppress him. Uh, just like in the last level, we suppress the enemy and he can't really do much about it now. Yeah, I remember <laughs> when I played this game as a kid, I, I, I was like, wow, this is impossible. I actually gave up a couple of times because I was like, how are you supposed to beat this? I don't remember what I did differently. Or maybe I did cheese it. Maybe that's how I realized that you can beat this level. Maybe that's how I did it. Because I think I tried doing it the normal way where you just build a tower and you just try to defend. But defending against two guys, yeah. Not really easy. So um, I think I, I tried and tried and tried building the building or building the tower in different placement places. Um... Until I realize there's nothing I can do, and then I just try to go all in at the beginning of the level to see if I can, you know, get rid of them. And I killed one of them, and I was like, whoa, I can actually breathe now, and that's how I found out. And I think maybe that's even when I realized you can actually cheese in this game and defeat your enemies that way. Or maybe not, but I don't know. It's been, it's been such a long time ago, I can't, I can't remember the details now. Now we're good on food, so we're good on everything everything pretty much. We just need to uh, build up our army. So we have 35. Okay, let's get a few more and we should be good. And they're killing my... My... Um, what are they called? <laughs> uh, woodcutters. That's what happens when you don't play the game on a regular basis or you haven't played it for a really long time and you don't really want to bother checking um, names of everything and you, you're constantly like, oh wait, what is that unit called? Okay, we got how many? 40. Mm, that could work. We have a lot of barely alive pigs I just call them pigs because they remind me of a character that kinda is based on these units or, or something so they're called Macemen but they talk just like that pig character so I mean, it makes me wanna call them just pigs you know because they're so similar to that character Okay, we got 46. Forty-six. Last batch. And then we'll we'll go. Yeah, you can't make your economy big though. It's a small map too. Very cramped. Need some muscle. That's gonna be my force, my... Oh wow, he actually managed to assemble attacking force of slaves. How brave. What level was this, by the way? Uh, 13, right? Level 13. I'll just um, save just in case. Just in case we actually need to make sure we have a bigger army. How do you make your... Pi uh, not pikemen. Spearmen. Run. I know they can run. But they usually don't. Or was that a thing only in the first game that disappeared? Whoa, he got a lot of units out of nowhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll win. Yeah, easy. I didn't need that many. But, you know, better be safe than sorry. 
What castle walls? There are no castle walls. What are you talking about? Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.